Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? All right. We are uh, going to react to the end of Woke Hollywood. I guess it's destroyed now. And, uh, yeah, some some will be upset. Some of the lame brands will be upset about uh, Woke Hollywood going down. But, uh, here we go. Here's Nerdrotic, Critical Drinker, and some guy I've never heard of <laughs> reacting. Maybe a bloviate, whatever. Hyping up. You know, this idea. But let's just react to it. Here we go. Reviewing the reviewers. We're not allowed to, but we are now. Woke this destroyed. It's so creative. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. I'm going to turn so that So we stand in the presence of glory. I'm in a bar, and it's a bar that had Carl Weathers in it, so that's pretty good to me. <laughs> uh, tide is turning. We're, we're, I, I think we're on the side of common sense and truth, so that's always the winning side to me, whatever happens. We talked about it last night. It's about common um, sense and truth. The tide was turning a couple of years ago, and they got a, a false extension you know, uh, during, during COVID, uh, during the summer of love, you know, those very peaceful riots when America was burning down and Hollywood was rooting it on. Um, they, after Hollywood had divided the nation through their scripts and their uh, adult pretenders being idiots, uh, and demon oh like <laughs> oh my god it's like a is it like a Tim Pool video like he's just throwing these political narratives out there kind of one by one of uh you know the the woke leftists going into the streets and protesting and woke hollywood was attempting to do that or, in my opinion, just feed off of it, right? Try to make money off of it. Uh, you know, with something like Joker. But I think a lot of people like Joker. I think including this guy like something like Joker, which was very, which is a very interesting uh, take, if you will. But whatever, nonetheless. Here we go. I'm sorry for pausing. Your favorite YouTuber. Organizing half the country. So now they're they're... And they put that off for a couple so of years. So what is dividing us? 2019 woke stuff was failing already. A Terminator Dark Fate's a great example. Oh, okay. It's like the worst uh, subversion of an intellectual property you'll ever see personified in like the first five minutes. Um, where they kill, uh, they kill um, John Connor. John Connor in yeah. the in the first five minutes with the CGI with the CGI de aged Edward Furlong and uh, uh pretty it actually looked pretty good the, the cgi good, yeah. uh, arnold schwarzenegger but then it just it destroys the terminator franchise that was written by okay but for me the terminator franchise i mean if you're a weirdo and you're just into like just the characters like okay i, under, I understand that as a fan of something that makes sense as a fan of something like your favorite characters and all that shit but I look more for what is the quality of the, the product in front of me. What's the quality of the film? I don't mean that coldly either. I don't mean that in some corporate sense of it. I mean it in like, you're a fan of film. You want movies to be great. Thus, if they do a random fucking time jump warp thing to that either brings back your favorite hero alive or kills them, it's all about exec execution at that point. Which is the thing, these guys who claim to be comic book fans, I think that's the thing in comic books, right? Where they run out of stories to do, even though everyone loves the franchise, right? And they're like, fuck, people like this stuff, so let's make more of it. And they run out of, like, areas to go to, as far as writing goes. Like, yeah, these things happen. And also, like, something that isn't that high of quality in the first place, like Terminator... If you thought Terminator was a fucking masterpiece of something, you're fucking, you're trolling, bro. You're trolling yourself. Like, you are. So to think that, like, okay, what's the next step for something like Terminator? Like, it'll have to be some character kill-offs or character bring-back-y shit. No, but it's like, yo, his whole premise is to troll. 
he doesn't care about the fucking franchise. He only cares about if there is a white actor plant that <laughs> was originally white, he must re- always remain white. Like, yes. That's all he cares about. And he masquerades it around bad cinema, which is not true because he likes bad cinema that has conservative <laughs> fucking... Um, that's kind of proven. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's proven. It's kind of proven. With the whole We watched all of Reacher, right? I'm like, what is this mediocre Fox, Fox uh, primetime television show? Like, like cringy and kind of like uh, as far as like low class, no offense, low class fucking cinematography and style of writing and all that shit. Like, come on, it, it's it's bad. It's it, it's it's not great. It's not uh the worst thing ever, but it's not you know anywhere to be celebrated at. We should have left these shows behind in the fucking early 2000s, man. But I guess they want more of that, which is why the Critical Drinker guy is going to make a, his own little short film. <laughs> which I saw like, a little bit of clips of. I'm like, ooh, Reacher. Got it. Okay, so he was in the CIA, all right? He was in the CIA, and now uh, he's rogue. He's on his own. And like, okay. <laughs> that, that's like another thing, bro. Trump These guys are all over the place. These guys are pro Trump <laughs> against the deep state. And then all their content goes back to the deep state because they're they are patriotic to a fault. Or it's like it's over the top cartoonish patriotism. So then it's like it's like it's like bro, it's like you give you guys have no logic. You, there's, there's no moral not even moral. There's no like core values, core principles you follow. It just has to be around a narrative that you like <laughs> and you'll follow. What were you saying, Jesse? It's it's not about the films or the movies. Like they're just using that no. as background. You know, like this this is the topic supposedly, but it's not the topic. They they're just using that. So so you, you said that you don't know who. Benny Johnson is that guy? No, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I just uh, uh, I just uh, Wikipedia him. So he went from opinion writer for Breitbart to Daily Caller to uh, <laughs> chief creative officer at Turning Point, and he's oh, the, wow. the news. Ho- he's the host at Newsmax TV. Um, Fuck, whatever gets him in, apparently. Right. So so like. This is really what it is, what it is, you know, like the the movies, the films, like you you can see, you know, his judgment on it. It, it it's yeah. all it's all actually politics. Now, to be fair, if I felt you were authentic throughout every one of those little spots you worked at and all that shit, that shit doesn't matter to me personally. Right. It, it's it's definitely a marker, right? It, it's just definitely something to like pay attention to. But at the same time, like if you're, if I feel like you're authentic, that'll not mean much to me. The problem is, is are we seeing authenticity? <laughs> That's kind of the question here. Like, are we really seeing some sense of authenticity? Maybe Nerdrotic, maybe. Right, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave room for him. This other Betty Johnson, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I guess t- time will tell on that one. And the critical drinker. Maybe, and we'll, we'll, time will tell him as well. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm just saying, not, not about their, you know, if they're lying to people or not. It's like, if you've ever heard the phrase that McDonald's' this business is actually not burgers, it's real estate. Like, that's one <laughs> thing. Like, but you, what you're seeing is the burgers, right? So so that that's really where I'm going, is that you're seeing the movies as the topic, but it's something else. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, that's a really good point. Yeah. And it's kind of like, yeah, under, on the surface, you kind of feel that, even if you can't really articulate it. Or, you feel as though it's not about the movie. It's about a fucking narrative. Yeah. And you wait for that. It, it's kind of like if if you're a, an audience member like I am, you're kind of waiting for them to fuck up to where it's just like out in the open, obvious type shit. 
Because right now, all they're doing is rolling their R's and not like, well, yeah, we're not making fun of uh, Latin X or whatever the fuck they'll say, right? We're not making fun of that. It's like, but you kind of are. You're saying because there's a Latina chick playing this role in this movie or that TV show. You're saying like, oh, like, look, the minorities are taking over. Like, you're kind of saying that, bro, but you're not directly saying it. So we're going to sit back and wait for you to fuck up, and then everyone's going to fucking pounce on you, idiots. If they're, if they're that way, I'm just saying. If, if they're like that. Just have a feeling, though. But let, let's, let's continue. By James Cameron, by the way. So it was already on his way out. Then, of course, we get the great uh, reset happening over the next two years. Great reset. But the reason they extended that. The great they, reset. They extended that for two years. That something Wait, what's, what's the great reset? What's that? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> like they know the little catchphrases that we knew four years ago. I know. Ago. I know. <laughs> they just caught up. <clears throat> and I, I got to tell you, that shit never happened. <laughs> Great um, reset. I'm sorry for the political, for the non-political people that haven't looked into certain political topics, and then like people start. You and like, do we call it? Do we call this dog whistling? Yeah, it is a dog whistle. Okay, something like that <laughs> seems to be the third eye. <laughs> the third eye. <laughs> All right, here we go. It was already on his way out. Then, of course, we get the great uh, reset happening over the next two years. But the reason they extended that uh, the great reset is COVID. Two years that something that was naturally dying anyway. Now it's just gonna die harder for lack of a better term it's, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna go down in flames and cost them millions and as drinker was saying it was only a matter of time it was if if you follow comic books uh, uh, a nerd uh, any amount of time uh, you would see like this is you're subverting everything and and you can't continue to subvert stories and expect to make money off them they were already established you can't okay but if they do race swapping but keep the story the same would these guys like it would they be okay with it? Like if Little Mermaid just swapped the the, the race of the character but kept the story the same w w to where there is no subversion, right? If you swap out Ariel for a black chick, right? That doesn't yeah. that doesn't that that does not subvert the story at all. That's all. Know, that, 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 no, that's what I'm saying. That's the question I'm asking. Is that a version yeah. of? Is that what he means by subversion, or does he mean like the stories? Like completely changing, and the origin well, story is changing. To say whatever he wants to say, and it's fact because no one's gonna question it. Well, no one of any like any any vicinity towards him can that can question. <laughs> hey, we're trying. We're trying. If it wasn't for these Chris Chris Stuckman fans dragging us down. We'd be there already. All right, here we go. But it's like that's a worthy question, audience. Here we go can't continue to subvert stories and expect to make money off them they were already established you can't subvert luke skywalker you can't subvert han solo you can't try to erase captain kirk they're kind of mediocre characters in the first right. place but that's just it's my not take win. that's that's star trek is captain kirk star wars is luke skywalker i don't know han solo, know enough about star trek but that. star wars i do finding that out and, and they thought they could a mediocre make character. their own stories for a modern mm -hmm. audience that doesn't exist the modern audience is the same as the old audience we just like good stuff but I don't think it's going to happen with any of this modern. I don't think people are going to look back at the Disney sequel trilogy going, you know, we were a little bit harsh. No, we weren't harsh enough. We weren't harsh enough. And that would be my my looking back on it, especially after The Force Awakens. But we're at the end of this era now. So now we're just watching the collapse. They're not even coming. Like Hollywood collectively is coming out with half the entertainment they did last year. O overall, we're talking TV shows and films. And, uh, you know, I put up the list in my last video. Of the tentpole releases this year, only four are not sequels or attached or prequels or attached yep. to a previous franchise. You can't call them original because a couple of them are adapting books, but there's out of four all the year, that's it. Everything else is like a third and fourth sequel. It's not even two. It's we're in threes and fours. Despicably Me 4. Um, <clears throat> Fury. Okay. I agree with that. I can't not agree with that. The amount of sequels and unoriginal fucking works of art era storylines and shit like that. Yeah. But here's the thing. Someone like The Matrix made a... 
they made a critique of it and they made they used it they used their box office draw to tell to tell people that of what's happening and what's going on and i i bet these guys crapped on it i bet they crapped on it but the which the not not both Wachowskis, but one of them did right and lana or lana whatever her fucking name is yeah. They yeah. they use that platform to tell you like here's what's happening with sequels and to and they're drying out old characters in order to make a quick fucking buck. They use that platform, that box office name, and back box office marketing. They use it to tell you that, and I bet these guys crapped on that. So it's like, whose side are you on? Like, it's it's not about it's not about film winning. It's about I think it's about them winning. Like they're actually going to go over this in this video, where it's like I think their ideas of replacing these guys, like yeah, yeah, the new thing's going to replace them, the new independent creators, the ones that they deem right as independent, unique creators, yeah. <laughs> will will take over. That's the thing that they're looking for, and it's like, ah, uh... no offense, I haven't seen much from you guys. Is in regards to creativity to be like, yeah, yeah, you guys tr give it a shot. You're gonna fail like they like they are, bro. In my opinion, in my opinion, can't just make more Arnold fucking movies and call it a success, man. We had that already. We need Daily more Blair storytelling. Book. Daily <laughs> original, original. Yeah, yeah. Lady Boys, brand new, never heard of before. Storytelling. Lady, oh, lady Killers. Whatever it's called. Lady Ballers. There you go. Lady Ballers. What was the other one? Run, Hide, Jump, or some shit like that. Some fucking. Oh my God. The, the, the school wild. shooting movie. Like, yeah. Uh, what, a, what a 16 year old that acted like a 40 year old. <laughs> the the like fucking had, villain, the school shooter had, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah like, he had done, like, he had done 20 of them before this one. Like, come on. Some dude acting like a fucking bank robber, even though he's just he's just shooting up a school, right? They're supposed to have a different mental state than <laughs> I wear leather jackets and uh, I'm here to take you, like <laughs> like he's gonna like win some prize at the end, like bro, like you're shooting up a school, man. Is that is is this the psychology of a kid who's shooting up a school? Probably not, but they don't care to actually portray that in their fucking movie. It's all about your little political message. The thing, the do, very do, thing they complain about. God. Do we have a word for woke that's in the opposite political thing? Because <laughs> that's kind of what it is, right? Like, I promise not to say this word, but it starts with an R. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to say this word, it, but it starts with an R. Retard. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> that's the counter to. Uh, these things. But here we go. Furiosa, which is a Sorry. looks tiny. Furiosa, the... fourth sequel. It's not even two. It's we're in threes and fours. Despicably Me 4. Um, <clears throat> Furiosa, which yeah, is right. a looks terrible. Fast and Furious. A prequel nobody oh, wanted. Yeah. Prequel yeah. nobody yeah. wanted. Yeah. Uh, so, what was that? Say that again. The Furiosa, that does look bad. With fucking Chris Hemsworth. Oh. We'll see when it comes out. I always leave room for these things. These guys don't. That's why they no, yeah, bother me as movie people. Like, you're not a real movie person, in my opinion. Like, you leave room for these things so that if it sucks... Remember, we were, we were watching fucking House of the Dragon, and I'm like, like, no reason to force it. Do not force it being shitty. Let it wash over you. <laughs> Let the shittiness wash over you. You will see it as it is, as they're showing, us, showing it to us. There's no needed, like... Build up or hype for it. It, it they will they will wreck us on their own fucking road. like they will crawl, they will uh, learn to crawl then learn to walk on their own and wreck our shit. Pause. Like, <laughs> so it's like the same thing with, with with any of these fucking movies. Same thing. Let them do what they do. I don't I don't need to force anything. Just sit there, sit back and watch them. Like okay, this shit sucks. Like they will give you it. If it sucks, they will give you the suck. Pause. If it's good, they will give you the good. Pause again. Let's continue. Or 
Um, <clears throat> but these guys are premeditated, bro. Which is a uh, they're a premature yeah. ejaculators, man. A, a prequel out, yeah. nobody wanted. A prequel yeah. no nobody pause. wanted. Uh, you with, know. A, with a strong female character. Right. Finally. I hear finally. We've, my we've God. been waiting 10 years for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to see Mad Men. See why these little fucking like weak men like talk like this, bro? In their comfortable little bar and shit. You see that? Like, yeah. oh, 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 female, strong female character. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking little weak men, bro. It is like so fucking weird, too. It's like, bro, I could slap all three of you. None of you are doing shit about it, bro. You're going to walk away quietly and call the cops or some shit. <laughs> call the cops. So, like, like, forget about the macho shit. Just straight up, like, uh, like, oh, strong female character. Like, what's wrong with that? I, I, I don't mind that at all. It's all about the quality of the product, bro. Is it good or is it bad? There are procs where there's a strong female character where it sucks ass. Star Wars, right? There's procs where it's a strong female character that are fucking awesome. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Like what? Like what do you want? Like you want? Do, do you want quality or do you want there to not be strong female characters? See the context they fucking put it in. These are weak men, bro. Weak, intimidated yeah. fucking men, bro. They're so fucking trash. I'm sorry, and I'm not in fucking Wokesville either, bro. I don't, I don't live by those fucking rules or anything like that. Sound like a feminist. Shut up. I, I go based on what I fucking see and hear and mentally like try to understand and all that shit. I go ba based on that strictly, blatant honesty. But if you like lying, if you like people lying to you, or God help them. So dumb, they don't realize that they're they're feeding you bullshit. God help them, but yeah, go enjoy that. These guys will will probably if they pop into this video in the comment section and start saying some shit, like who the fuck are you? like they're gonna think like oh you you snowflake leftist. I'm like come talk to me in person. But you won't <laughs> you won't fucking do that. I know you won't fucking do that. Come talk to me on YouTube. Or in Discord. You won't do that either. So who the fuck are you, bro? That's what these fuck... These, no offense. These little... Uh, squeeze them into a jar men are, bro. Fucking f easily to fold into a fucking jar, people. But whatever. Sorry to be in... Sorry. Being violent. I apologize for that. Here we go. I hear finally, we've, my we've God. We've been waiting 10 years for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to see Mad Max in my uh, Mad uh, Max uh, movie. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, He's the patriarchy. <laughs> we don't need Luke Skywalker. We don't need Skywalker Luke Skywalker and yeah. Star Wars. <laughs> a movie. Skywalker's trash, but here we go. Movie star is a, uh, just for the youngsters in the audience, <laughs> is a Except star in Mandalorian. He was kind of cool Tom in that. Cruise movie. I'm going to go see this Sylvester Stallone movie. Don't care what the movie's about. It's Sil Sylvester Stallone shooting people. That's what that's what we used that's to go see point. movies for. That's a movie star, or it's a great actor. You know, uh, b back in the day when Al Pacino was in his prime, or Robert yes. De Niro was in the prime, or Jack Nicholson, you would go see those movies for their actual acting. We don't have actors anymore. So that's just okay. alone in that category. Oh, oh, oh. Just alone in the category of those people. Oh, oh, oh. I'm wrecked. I'm he, literally, he literally just explained. What I said, he only cares if they're heterosexual white men. They have borderline gay narratives in them? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, true. He doesn't know that, though, because he's... He won't see that, let's be honest. I think he's so in it, he won't, he won't notice the erection he has watching fucking Stallone beat up drug dealers and Tulsa gang or some shit. <laughs> You won't recognize the bunner he has watching that. No. But, but uh, yeah, there's no more. There's no more great actors. Are you kidding me? Is he trolling? There's what no the? more action stars. Oh, okay. So spe spe specifically, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Stallone types. Was it Rock Johnson? But I guess he's too woke for this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. He's too. Uh, he doesn't fit, fit the bill of uh, all I do is action movies guy. No, what do you mean? That is all he does. No, he, no, he doesn't always just do that because uh, um, 
It's not so much uh, that, Jordan. It's that, uh, <laughs> this little fucker, this little fucker with Roddy, if he sees you saying anything woke, no matter how close you follow his uh, culture war narrative movies, he's going to shit on you. He's going to talk shit about you because it's all about the image. Ah, uh, okay. Did The Rock lose points for kissing the president's ass? <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. I mean, I'm so wrecked by the. Are there any good actors today? Like, of course there fucking is, bro. Are let, we let trolling? Let me hear that statement again. Are we trolling? Well, it's either you're a big time movie star, like a quote unquote movie star. By the way, Tom Cruise is still going to that. He's still going as movie star guy, right? Yeah, he is. Hundred percent, he is. But whatever, he doesn't count. He won't put out trash like Stallone, not to that level. <laughs> Well, he's more creative than Stallone is. <laughs> no offense to Stallone. That's what Stallone should I like. I do. But, like, come on. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's not... Yeah, it's not... It's not winning any... It's not getting nominated for anything. Well, well, we have to dismiss the... No, when we're talking to these guys, or guys like this, we have to dismiss the idea of nominations and awards and shit sure. like that, which is, like, fine. I don't mind doing yeah. that. Most a lot of times there are years where I have my favorite films and they don't win something, or maybe not even credited as as like or a nomination. I mean, as a uh, for one of these winning award winning things. I'm like fine, whatever. I'm with that too. Uh, but his his notion about <laughs> movie stars and then good actors. You're telling me both of those are missing. Good God, you don't watch movies then. You don't watch movies. I'm sorry. If you're, all you're watching is Madam fucking Web, like, yeah, you may, you may come away with that belief, like, there's no good acting out there. But you have to be an idiot for that. Well, he, he, he also brought up Mad Max. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah, well, exactly. These are dorks, dweebs, that think certain movies are... Uh, certain movies that let's be honest, are not that great of quality, but are maybe higher up in the fun factor territory, he views those as, these are the films we need, which will beg the question, when it, when it comes up, because it will come up, of uh, well, what will happen when you guys kind of take over? Right? When, when the Hollywood leftist wokeness shills go away, and you guys from the independence world, the grassroots version, come up and become like the new main thing. What are you going? What are you going to fucking provide? It's like, oh, uh, um, uh. It, don't worry, Johnny. The spotlight's right on you, Johnny. Here you go. What's what's going to happen here? Come on, Johnny. Tell me. Um, uh. Reach your season two. Oh, hey. we already got. This. <laughs> it's like no, no, bro. We 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 already had uh, we had season we had the Reachers. We had the Arnolds. We had the Stallones. What next? What do you have next? Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, like, it'll go on that way. It will provide nothing. It'll be like, good God, you never saw, you never saw creativity in the first fucking place, bro. Because you cut yourself off at every fucking lane to stop yourself from seeing certain things as being quality. Remember we watched Eileen? Uh, Jesse I was like, wow, what a creative fucking story. Inter yeah. Interesting and creative. But guess what? Two female stars, man. Two female leads, man. You might have to ignore that one and not pay attention to it and not give it credence and not give it quality, like numbers of quality. You can't do that. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta fight the machine. <laughs> These blue pill ass motherfuckers. Yes, I said it. Blue pilled. <laughs> Am I allowed to do that? Can I say they're blue pilled? Go on with it. Fuck it. Do whatever you want. All right. Here we go. Stallone movie. Don't care what the movie's about. It's Sil Sylvester Stallone shooting people. That's what. That's what we used that's to go see movies point. for. That's a movie star. Or that's what you actor. used to watch you know, movies uh, for. Back in the day when Al Pacino was in his prime, or Robert yes. De Niro was in the prime, or Jack Nicholson, you would go see those movies for. Their we watched Dog Day Afternoon. We don't have actors anymore. 
That's why I say adult. You watch Dog Day Afternoon, where this dude has a crisis of not just identity, but his own place in the world, yeah. and it, and he has a he had oh, more uh, love for his trans girlfriend slash boyfriend Leon than that's that's Prime Pacino, is it not? As far as what he's calling Prime Pacino, so it's like. Well, that movie was made there in that era. Sounds kind of sounds kind of woke to me. I don't know. It's, it's just like we don't have actors anymore. We may not have, um, we may not have like independent like script, storytellers. That'd probably be. Yes. I'd say that'd be our biggest deficit. Yes. No, but it. It. I'm gonna say no and yes at the same time. They are there. They exist. Yeah, they People, are, they are these now. idiots are yeah. not watching them. And they're trying to tell me yeah. that it doesn't exist anymore. Shut the fuck up. Sorry. There's talent out there. There's real talent out there. And they're getting skipped over. Yeah, we saw this movie uh, recently. What was that? Poor Things? Um, where this oh, lady was like cloned? It's, it's a woman. Is that not it's interesting? Is, is that not an interesting fucking story? Yeah. And the way well, it was no, shot and all woman. that. Come on. Yeah. No, because it's a woman. <laughs> oh, it's a woman. Oh, never mind. No, I don't care. Yeah, nah, bro. Come Emma Stone, Emma Stone I, can't I act. I thought it was a story. I thought it was a story. Emma Stone can't. She's not a real actor. All of a sudden, Emma Stone can't act, you know? No. Like, that's crazy. That's nonsense. She's woke. Mark Ruffalo can't act anymore, apparently. He's like, He's shut up. Woke. He's super woke. Get him out of here. <laughs> These are your artists, you idiot. They're always going to lean towards, quote unquote, the left. Because they want, I don't know, they probably want more artistic freedom or whatever the fuck their reasons are. But most likely, they're going to lean towards this thing over here politically. Meaning, you're going to have to like, and deal, you're going to have to fucking deal with that. Like, you are. Like, sorry. If you want the best actor in your fucking reboot of Reacher style thing. Like you're gonna need like <laughs> sorry, bro. There's gonna be actors. Well, it's like what we had this discussion in the past. It's like he wants he wants a certain narrative that isn't profitable like that anymore. Or better way to put it, it was pop culture, now it's counterculture. And he's having a he's having like a dilemma of <laughs> oh, well, I'm like, yeah, he's having a, di- a dilemma, bro. He's <laughs> a dilemma, bro. He's having a fucking a Karen fest that's wrapped around masculinity, but he's really on some like fem- feminist, like sus shit. Why? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's crying and bitching. And, Yo, they don't want. Where's these actors at? It's like. It's like yo, Stallone shoe and shit. Like it's supposed to be. Like, like that's some. <laughs> it's like listen to the words he's saying, bro. It's like this guy is triggered. He has nowhere to run to. He saw this trash ass Reacher show and he <laughs> fucking he fucking went full bore. I go, it's amazing. Can't wait for another one. Why? Because that's what he wants to see. That's the kind of film he wants to be. He wants propagated all over. He wants these dumbass fucking muscles. <laughs> oiled up. Super oiled dumb. up steroid, man. Those cat phrases they be saying, bro. Like Every other word is sus. Every other term they say to each other in that show was so super sus. Uh, well, that's what he likes. <laughs> But he's telling you, he's telling, it's like, yo, he's like telling me he's not gay and he's a, he's a crusader against homosexuality <laughs> as he's doing homosexual, homosexual. <laughs> and that's what the fuck, that's the vibe I'm getting from this guy. This guy is a fucking Karen complaining about Karen's. <laughs> Unironically. That's, that's the shadow. You gotta chill, bro. Literally, that is the shadow, literally. Mm. You guys have seen Better Call Saul, right? Or... I didn't finish. I only saw three seasons. Most of it. Most of it. Okay, but you, do, you understand the idea of like Saul Goodman doing like an infomercial, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. 
And it's like yeah. that thing where it's like, okay, it's an infomercial, but it's a mockery of the way infomercials like looked in like the mid nineties or whatever. Right. Yeah. Like, that they're kind of making fun of it. Yeah. That's no offense to that genre. I have plenty of love for that genre, but plenty of films as far as in that little time period of the nineties action star thing, like they are like that. They're make, they're make funnable of <laughs> like a nineties info fucking Marshall, man. Like seriously, like that, that's the way it translates to like, wait a minute, this guy got shot here and now he's doing a backflip and killing like 12 men in front of him and show all that shit. Like it's, it's laughable when you see that. I think the, and I they're think asking the, for that. The, are they not? Yeah, and I think the the poster child is Action Hero with the long with a Schwarzenegger. The last Action Hero. Last Action. Hero. I love that as a kid, and they made they made yeah, exactly they made fun of it themselves in those movies. Yeah, he was making fun of dipshits like Nerdrotic fanboy <laughs> over that kind of fucking movie making. If that's your only option, not the only option, but like, they, I think they want to subjugate movies that were bubbling up from the independent scene, keeping them there while boosting up those type of movies at the same time. And it's like, that's what happened already. So you gotta find a, fi- a fine fucking balance. Man. No, and it's funny, like, did this guy bitch and make a whole, like, reaction shit about Expendables 4, which is a reboot, which he's complaining about that Stallone made, it was terrible. At, too. <laughs> terrible, but it's the part of the culture war he he approves of. He didn't say a word about it. Oh, I thought you meant he like actually made some content about Expendables and no, it's going he downhill. Did he didn't make twenty videos about how trash the Expendables are? If he did, he would have said, like, oh, well, they, they had Megan Fox in there too much. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this movie he sucked ass, touch, period. He didn't even touch it, because that's, that's the kind of shit he wants to see. If it was, if it was like, a G.H.O. 8 fucking Rambo, it, there's a Rambo 9 coming out or whatever. <laughs> that, this piece of shit is bitching about reboots and fucking non-original um, movies. As he's about, as he's fucking praising Stallone coming out with another fucking Rambo. Is that confirmed, or are you just saying that? Is that confirmed? That he's like, yeah, I can't wait for Rambo, whatever the fuck. Rambo 9. Dude, that's what what he's talking, that's what he's referring to when he's talking about Stallone. Maybe. He just wrecked his own argument. Well, let's take something that's like... I fuck, I don't even know if he reviewed this. I know Critical Drinker recommended this movie called Top Gun Maverick. Uh, you want to tell me like something where it's just like a reboot of the 90s, but yet, yet gets praise when they're saying like, we're tired of, we're tired of reboots and, re- and redones. Yeah, he's not tired of them. He's tired Are they of like seeing, Wingman movie? He's tired of seeing woke shit being rebooted. Or re or or another fucking installation, or sh- shit. or shit that was one way and then rebooted as quote unquote woke, yeah. right? Replacing. But when it but when it's tailored to his liking, no problems, no issues. I'm gonna go watch that because Stallone killing people, <laughs> shooting a whole bunch of people like it's supposed to be. I mean, well, they sp- they celebrated that movie. Remember, uh, I don't know who was here. I know Jesse was here. I don't know if you guys, if Josh or Anthony, seen this. The fucking uh, Triple R. I think it's Triple R. The Indian movie. No. I Did didn't you guys see, see that? that? Okay. You didn't. See, okay. But yeah, no, it, I didn't see that. It was celebrated by these guys. And it's like a over the top action movie, like borderline kind of gay fucking action <laughs> movie. What a surprise. What a oh, surprise. wait. You know what? I think I partly remember that. The, 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 the fucking like Bollywood movie thing. I think I might vaguely. Okay. Lots like, of dancing. There was a fight. There's a lot of dance offs. <laughs> yeah. Dance offs. Yeah. Yes, yes, I remember and that these, shit. And these guys yeah. praised it, really, because it was it was no offense to them. It's like kind of mindless action, mindless. It, it, well, it's Bollywood, so they do a dance scene, I guess, 
or something like that. And I want to buy into that shit. I want to see like creative stuff. Go ahead, Absolutely. That's what he wants. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to think about it. <laughs> Fucking problems in the world. He doesn't want to think about <laughs> women's feelings, other people's feelings. He just wants to see heterosexual, oiled up, fucking steroid out, dude, killing people, saving a day, having sex with a fucking hot ass woman. That's that's the that's the fucking thesis of his life, bro. The fucking here's uh, well. At the same time, these guys might end up like, if they haven't already, quietly like worshiping like Joe Rogan type guys. Where Ro- e- Rogan himself, he was talking about the Born, the Jeremy Renner Born, Born series thing, right? The, the Born Identity series thing. Yeah. There's so, a Je- there's a Jeremy Renner version, and Rogan's so, like, yeah. Jeremy Ro- or Joe Rogan's like. Yeah, what is with this guy? He's not acting like a person. He's like a robot. <laughs> like he's like he's overly like stoic, super masculine, over masculine type guy or whatever the fuck. Rogan made fun of that guy. I bet these guys would celebrate celebrate Rogan to look for potential allies in these things. And it's like fuck, you're just like a political party, man. Where's your fucking individual thinking at? Where is it? Like I'm begging, like where is your thinking at, bro? I feel like if I ask questions, you're going to fucking run. You're going to hightail it out of here, bro. There'll be a fucking glass bottle shattering on the fucking ground as you're scattering out the fucking front door, bro. If I asked, if I walked in that room and started asking questions, it may, like you had to answer them. You're running, bro. Which is how I feel. Like It's the same as fucking politics, man. I was, I was running away from this stuff. God. I was running away. Uh. And here I am I back like- again. I don't think you ever seen this guy debate. I doubt he would. No offense. I doubt he would. About the merits of film? This is more of a culture thing, bro. As much as he's going to cry about fucking actors or this or that, holding up placket sign or uh, what was it called? Uh, like protest signs or whatever. Or, uh, you know, strike like strikes, right? Strikers. Yeah. As much as he's going to like probably crap on them to some degree. It's like you're doing that, but just in your own form, and you're win- you're winning for you in your own form. Right now, as of now, you're winning in your own form of this thing. Yeah. But in reality, it's like, uh, uh, we gave let's, let's give these guys the 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 reins of film and watch the dog that comes out. They're like, yo, why does this look like an infomercial from Better Call Saul, man? That'll be their fucking response. Because they're not looking at creativity and actual unique perspectives. They're looking at the culture warrior par- portions of this thing. Trash has reach. You gotta win the message, man. That's all that matters. Forget about uh, storytelling or anything like that. Who gives a shit about that? Win the, win the fucking narrative. God. Alright, there we go. Go see those movies for their actual acting we don't have actors anymore That's we I don't have well, actors pretend. anymore have, have he is out of his fucking here. mind who, uh, oh god role, like brie larson who takes the role of captain marvel oh. to be a platform not to be a role oh uh, brie, Lar- oh. brie larson can act her tits off as much as you don't like her political message and i, I don't really know her political message but regardless she can act is that or, anyone disagree with me? like do you disagree with me on that point can brie, can brie larson act her ass off yes she can can anyone anyone deny that anyone here have you seen enough of her to deny that or anything like that anyone no. couldn't tell you brie larson can act her ass off yeah she can act bro oh uh, what's that um the room she did fuck that yeah the room bro the exact but yeah she can act the room I think it's a little bit overrated of a movie, but she can act. She can go there. It, she has ranges. She can go to, to. It goes back to the same, bro. Captain Marvel, whatever. It's it's no um, it's no cinematic fucking masterpiece. Or no, it's also not the worst thing in the world. The problem is that she made comments that this guy doesn't like. 
So he's going to shit on her life. Exactly. Her, Can Arnold act like Brie Larson? No. no. Can Stallone act like Brie Larson? No. no. Like, stop. Like, we stopped the conversation right there. It is now done. You may no longer yeah. talk about that. Move on. I'm talking about fucking actors. Not, there's no actors doing that. Like, are you kidding me? You think Stallone and Schwarzenegger can keep up with Brie fucking Larson? Okay, they're saying they're action stars. Well, who would they pick out as good actors? Uh, they don't even mention that, obviously. But, uh, like, come on. You don't think she's a good actor? You're crazy. Does she not have range? She does. What are we talking about? It's like, what's her name? Uh, the, the Adams Family chick... Spanish, Latina. Yeah. What's her name? Josh. Uh, oh fuck! Wednesday. The, the yeah. chick who plays Wednesday, yeah. Ortega, something Ortega. Jenna, Jenna Ortega. Like I'm sorry, she can fucking act. You can see that she can act. Even though she did that trash ass. <laughs> now she'll pick some shitty roles. I mean, that's what it is. But she can act her ass off. Like she can act. To, den- to to uh, deny that is crazy to me. <laughs> yeah, you're denying Brie Larson, who's like accredited as an actor, to deny her her abilities is fucking cr- peak level cringe. I mean, you don't actually watch movies; you watch maybe comic book superhero movies at best. Yes, which makes you like, not a movie best. reviewer. Go ahead. You said, yeah, so that, that's where uh, my, my prior point, you, you just asked, what are we talking about, right? And, and, uh, and, you, and the movie reviewer. So if you go to the about section of his YouTube, wh- what, what do you think is there? There's two topics. One, one is former co- comic book. <laughs> and the other is pop culture. That's the topic of this channel. That's... No reference to movies, <laughs> like, except if you look at all the thumbnails, right? But like, that's what this is about. Oh, it's... I say fair enough to that, though, Jesse. I say fair enough. But what are they attempting to do? They're trying to pretend like they're doing like movies and talking about uh, what did they say? The story. They're trying to yeah. reach outside of comic books and pop culture and try to shift people to maybe buy fuck boys fucking book or some shit by critical drinkers book these lowly fucking men we gotta, we gotta buy his book and watch his short films and shit like that like come on man i write better in my fucking dreams than these fucking du- dudes do in real life bro like come on it they'll get to it i'm saying things that haven't happened on screen yet but you'll see what they're what they're gonna say but yeah, dude, like, <laughs> were they here for it? Uh, 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 here we go. So when was the last time you said, I'm going to go see a cr- that Chris Pratt movie, right? I get, no, and not yeah. talking on Chris Pratt. I really like Chris Pratt. Based on what People I do that, you idiots. Much, but I've never said, show me that Chris Pratt movie. No, yeah. No, right? No. We're like the you show- didn't, but people do. Moving on. Here Schwarzenegger is bigger than the title of the movie, right? That's yes. inverted. We'd go see crappy short Schwarzenegger movies because he was in it. Yes. And as far as so? modern movie stars, is that a good thing? We got to know them on social media, so <laughs> yeah. they would annoy us once a year at a at, a, at an award show and, and bloviate about something stupid. Uh, but now we get to hear him every single day. Like uh, Mark Hamill, I wouldn't even want to see him play Luke Skywalker again. I yes. I can't stand the dude. Uh, the dude's insufferable on I mean, Twitter, and I don't even follow him. Talk about failure to launch. Yeah. Like, Rachel Ziegler's was yeah. supposed to be the next thing. Ouch. Yeah. And then she got on social What's media. She? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I don't, I don't think you can correct that ship. Maybe I'm wrong. No. It's I don't think so. Or it's going to take a long time. Concerned, a lot of humility. It would, it would take her to come out and say, I was wrong, which, yeah. good luck. <laughs> it would work. It would actually work, but they, they I don't just, know what she said. Not allow Personally, them. so. Cor- corporations, all they have to do. Does anyone know is, what she said? Kathleen Kennedy comes out. Probably not. Yeah, this, was 10 years. <laughs> okay. this is five years ago. I don't, 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 don't,
we f***ed up. Sorry, sorry for the language. They usually just wait for their movies uh, and not we, we read the like what they're doing in their done that. We're normal try lives to make or what they believe in or whatever. Possible. And from here on out, any of our actors, any of our creators, I think that's important, just talk but about how much they love Star Wars and they're going to do the best they can. Personally. And, and I resign. Problem over. Yeah, that would help. Yeah, and I resign. <laughs> Problem <laughs> over. Yeah. In I'm going to put on a Jar Jar Binks costume of shame. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to walk through the streets and you're all going to be able to shout shame at me and like like Game of Thrones scene. Yeah. And I think you could have actually won. I think that actually a Dude, lot of people would well, have respected just, that. Everybody would have respected and, it. And Everyone would have respected Like, bullshit, bro. You'd have been living off this for four or five, six fucking months. Did you hear what we did? Kathleen Kennedy is out. It's because of us. And look what I did and all that shit, bro. They would have lived off it for a long period of time. Like, let's. Why are we lying to each Like, why are we lying about things, man? Maybe it feels good in the in the in the, the tone of the conversation. Like it just feels good to say that in a conversational like scenario, but like come on. No bullshit, man. You'd be ha you'd be fucking celebrating in the fucking streets if Kathleen Kenny got fired got fired or quit because you guys put so much pressure on her. At least in your minds you put so much pressure on her to where she's done. Like come on. God damn, I can already imagine the Idiot YouTube comments that are going to happen from this, but it is what it is. <laughs> I already imagine them. Here we go. <laughs> Walk through the streets, and you're all going to be able to shout shame at me and like like Game of Thrones scene. Yeah. And I think you could have actually won. I think that actually a Dude, lot of people would have well, respected that. Yeah, Everybody would have respected it. And a genuine apology. It's hard yeah. to still be mad at someone when they've demonstrated yes. both of those things. But these they manly men. The standard MO is just to double down <laughs> these on what they've done before. These, and these are manly men. Keep going. That's where risk averse comes in. So it's, it's risk averse. It's easier to demonize half of your paying customers than be called a racist. Because if Kathleen Kennedy had done that, then the people within her own organization would have called her out yeah. for bending the knee to the chuds and the, the right wing and the alt right and all that yeah, BS that's right. that they started. Oh, so man. it's their lie. It's their negative. And that, like Hollywood was, I don't want to say sold a lie. I don't want to absolve them of any uh, responsibility. They willingly bought in. I'm going to tell her for my audience. DEI and, uh, and brought that in identity politics. And they thought that was the way to go and make money. Uh, of course, we heard the the head of BlackRock say we're forcing behaviors because they they're they're completely open about what they're trying to do and socially engineer. And it was a bunch of like minded people going, sure. Is it a vast conspiracy? No, it's a it's a conspiracy of idiots and, and incompetence. That and and I agree with that. Lack of creativity. There's there's no. I agree with that. I don't deny I'm not shit. I agree with that. A lack of. A lack of creativity, I think, is the biggest point out of all of that. Lacking in creativity. But I do, I do understand people being left out of the film industry. It's just the, the thing that I'm caring about as far as being uh, left out is about ideas. Not races, not genders, not sexual orientations. I don't, like, fuck that. It's the ideas that would be left out forever. In film, still to this day, left out. Still to this day, these guys don't care about that shit because they don't care about film. They care about Indiana Jones not being black or whatever, whatever the fuck they're into. Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones being Indiana Jones, they they want that shit, and it has everything to do with like their looks <laughs> and shit and physical things they do, rather than like the core essence of maybe Indiana Jones. This is my contention with these guys. But as far as like that shit, uh, the DAI stuff or whatever, all that bullshit, uh, it's a pseudo version of what I would want. It's a fake version of what I would actually want. Because guess what? If they let that shit out, the corporation aspect of this, of giant companies consolidating fucking power over time, would be much harder to do. If the populace was like, hey, man, you can't just do that. But these guys also crapped on something like The Matrix 4, where they were saying that in the movie. But they they didn't get that, I guess. They were looking for dumb dumb. Like, where's Neo? Neo's the one, and Neo does the one stuff. <laughs> That's all they saw. Instead of like looking at him and be like, 
wait a minute, is this a protest against their uh, the company they're working for right now? Right in our faces. They use the resources of the company they're working for to shit on the company they're working for. Got no credit for that shit. I, that freaked me out, man. Like, oh, we're not, we're not film fans then. We're... I don't, I don't know what, what these guys are at this point, personally. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> It's I'm just hearing people shoot shoot themselves in the fucking foot. That's all I'm hearing. Here we go. There's a bunch of like-minded people going. Sure, is it a vast conspiracy? No, it's a it's a conspiracy of idiots and, and incompetence that and and uh, lack of creativity. There's, yeah, that's there's what no corporations talent. usually all do. The talents being driven out. Unless they're Elon Musk, out. apparently. If you follow film threat, <laughs> they're going to be covering it the rest of the year, pretty much. And you're going to hear anonymous people from. The Film Actors Guild, the Writers Guild of America, and all the other guilds uh, saying, it, we're not down with this. We're forced into it because we're afraid of our own union. So, you know, it's they, they willingly just tragic. It, and now they're going to go broke. You can and, do better, Senator. And the what was that? What did you just say? They're going to go broke? Where, where, were we, where have we heard that before? Anyone? You go woke, you go broke. Where, where, where have we heard that before? Tim Pool. Oh, Steven shit. Crowder. Oh fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. One of those idiots? Yeah, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, shit. What about the, uh, like, oh, I can imagine the comments of, like, political, like, well, what about this? Then you are, actually try to argue with them. They run away immediately. They run very quickly away. You don't see them again. I'm like, yo, where'd you go, man? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, are you, they actually what, worried what? about them going broke? I mean, is that what they want? Like, they're saying what, what, if you go woke, uh, you go broke, man. If you go yeah, woke, you go broke. Maybe they're just trying to prevent them from going broke. I mean, it, uh, unless they're really just really good films, which are you can't do anything about that. Right? If it's Barbie, you, like you can't like they went woke, and I guess they went broke. <laughs> oh no, wait, they were like the number one movie this entire year. <laughs> It probably cracked it like the top five selling movies of all time. Even though I don't look at them as like it's kind of quote unquote woke. I think it's a different movie than people realize. But we're an idiocracy, so we got to deal with what we got to deal with. All right, whatever. Here we go. We're forced into it because we're afraid of our own union. So you know, it's they they willingly bought into it, and now they're gonna go broke. You can do better, Senator. And the, fa <laughs> like, and the fact that I just that couldn't believe that scene. It, it is, and, and like it's been going on for almost a decade now. We're, we're at eight years in since you know 2015, 2016 when this really started. It's been there, but it it's never been, like it's been really forever, and forever really in the last good. and there's six just years. Figured out eight years <laughs> in when some of us were calling it out five years ago, and it's great calling it out five Hollywood five fucking years ago that just didn't adapt fast enough. Mm. You know, it'll hey man, people have been calling a lot of things out for a lot of years, but you didn't give them any type of attention about it. Like that means you have an incomplete answer and you're just using like it kind of looks like you're using this for your own fucking platform instead of like actually quote unquote fixing the problem. I bet I'm triggered right now. Forgive me. Here we go. Imagine that. Just going to go into a comment. Be Josh. Go into a comment section. Like triggered and walk away. Like <laughs> motherfuckers would you non-answer at. Whatever. Here we go. It'll always be around. Like radio will always be around. There'll always be music. There'll yeah. always be Hollywood. But it's not the. It's not even the biggest thing now. Video games are. Video games are the biggest form of entertainment by far. They Is that because of quality? Is that because of quality, Nerdrotic? I thought the whole point was about quality. I know, he can't answer those fucking questions. I know, I get it. But let's move on. Why talk about them? Video games are. Video games are the biggest form of entertainment by far. They make... What are the well, god tier of video games? What Hollywood does in a year, even in their best year. What's um, so good about so, video games? Yeah, they'll always be scripted entertainment, but Hollywood will contract now. And it will be, you're, we're seeing it happen right before our eyes. Studios, the old studios are selling out. 
and it's all going to contract. It's going to be about four entities like it used to be in the beginning, but it's going to be the tech companies. Apple will control some of Hollywood, even though nobody watches their stuff because they have just all the liquid cash in the world. Netflix is number one. Amazon will do it till they get bored. So out of those three big guns, two of them are vanity projects, basically. Hmm. And Hollywood is scared to death. And Holy shit. I could have swore there were filmmakers complaining about this years ago about hey all the like the my, little smaller studios all the in, independent films are all being bought up by these like a consolidation of fucking studios from warner brothers to fox to disney to fucking viacom to like like there's a small group of people controlling all the rest of the rest like all of it right and slowly kind of subverting them to lead back to themselves like we'll we'll buy up your company that made this awesome independent film buy it up use that to get maybe viewers or back in the day like dvd sales or or uh, movie theater tickets or whatever the fuck we'll use those resources that we're getting from these guys to consolidate our power even fucking more now people complain about that no, but back then it was good oh got it got it got it, got it. It's deregulation it's true yeah. true 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 very true. The market decides. <laughs> Let the market decide. <laughs> exactly. True. Good. Good point. I, I'm. I'm stonewalled by that. I can't say anything against that. <laughs> but no. But seriously, it's like the people that were quote unquote fighting that fight were what these guys call woke Hollywood. Actually, maybe not not the corporations, right? I don't mean the corporations. I mean like the narratives of storytelling. Those guys were kicked to the fucking curb back then, man. They were they were they were kicked to the fucking side, man. And he's saying like, man, I want more raw, realistic, uh, independent, grassroots type of filmmaking. Like they're gonna say some shit like that. Like you want that? Guess where a lot of these guys come from? They come from that area. But you're gonna tell them like if you ran Hollywood, you'd tell them to go the fuck away. Because like clearly, clearly you work for Viacom. Clearly you work for Warner Brothers when you're doing this or doing that. It's like, nah, man, you make more money than I do. No, you're woke. Woke is a, a corporate machine thing. Like, no, not exactly. We're independent creators. I mean, I like what we say, what we're saying, but we exist. <laughs> it used to be easy to find them online too. There was so many like independent films. Yes, it, they weren't. They weren't under a big company. They were just. I mean, they they would they would collect on on certain websites and they post them, but there was a lot of them. Yeah, and they, they all. You can't even. Once they were bought, you can't even access the films anymore. Yeah. They're gone. As as an idiot teenager, I used to like religiously watch IFC, like yeah. kind of kind of religiously as like a film fan, like just watching these independent films. It, but then there was a point. There's a like a certain day where IFC started playing like you know uh, toothpaste commercials. I'm like, oh no. It's over. It's done. That idea of this little like niche thing that doesn't play commercials other than like the shows or movies are gonna play later. It'd just be movies, movies, movies. It'd be like kinda like uh like HBO or something like that. It'd be like, kinda like that, but for independent film. And then you start seeing commercials for fucking bikini waxes and fucking toothpaste and shit like that to where it's like oh no it has changed but where were these guys when that was happening that's what I want to know where, like, where did these guys go when that was happening no no every, nothing happened until 10 years ago apparently I think it was Adam Films that bought up a bunch of them first and then they got bought or I don't know if they had some yeah but I, I think they, they're the ones who bought a bunch of movies, a bunch of smaller ones. I'm not sure of how it 
know, technically uh, yeah, I don't remember the out. full history, but I remember yeah. some some that it was. I was like, I would watch, and I'm like, all right, that's gone. Where where did I find it? It's like, oh, okay, it's now under this name. So I start watching there. I'm like, all right, this is a little different, but but then then they're gone. It's like, <laughs> And 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 I used to have the idea in before the internet was a little bit different, right? And it would be like, all right, it's once it's on the internet, it's on the internet. It's there. Somebody's got a copy. So, yeah. but then I realized, like, wait, the internet is really curated, and it's there's more things deleted from it all the time. Like, it's like when it's like revising history, like. Like they, yeah, and, and you don't see old things, like you don't know that they're changed, because nobody's looking at that. That's exactly. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. Even things you just like search for, like in later years versus earlier years, and you're like, I can't even find this thing that I used to like watch or something, like, anything like that. It's like gone. Either it's buried or it's just deleted. All right, mm -hmm. and it's like holy shit. But I don't hear that in these guys' voices, man. I don't hear that here with them. I'm like, I'm like looking at them, like, yeah, I can't wait for independent film. Like, bro, are you serious? They're gonna, they're gonna say it. I'm like, I'm kind of pre-spoiling it, but it's, it's gross to someone who, like, I. My love for film goes back to my like my younger years, man. Like to where I watched the indies and all that shit, man, and had like I didn't like love every single thing I saw. Some were good and some were bad to me. But they existed and they weren't like, Okay, you're deleted from the world now. <laughs> you're kick you're kicked aside because maybe your beliefs in your movie. That's what like these guys don't realize they're advocating for that, like in their in their own w weird way. But here we go. Is number one, Amazon will do it till they get bored. So out of those three That's big Amazon, guns, two of them are vanity God. projects basically, hmm. and Hollywood is scared to death. And may you know Disney is about to go through what Warner Brothers went through. Ten Warner Brothers used to be on top of the world a decade ago. They had Harry Potter. They had Nolan doing Batman. Game of Thrones was doing great. Like, they were firing on all cylinders. Now they're billions in debt. Same thing's going to happen to Disney. Who rises up? Why are they in debt, though? Like, see his context for why they're in debt? Like, it doesn't make sense because they started putting black actors in movies. Is that why the, the movies suck now? Like, why is, why did that happen? Like, come on. I'll, I'll let him finish. Yeah, no one doing bad. Gave him wrong. Game of Thrones was doing great. Like, they were firing on all cylinders. Now they're billions in debt. Same thing's going to happen to Disney. Who rises up? Maybe Universal. But there'll be four or five studios running everything again, just like it was in the beginning, just like it has been over the last century. But they're not going to be the biggest thing anymore. And because they're competing against us, <laughs> they're competing against you. They're yeah. com they're, oh. Somebody firing up a stream. Oh. Now more people are just watching each other you know which is great so it does seem so easy to bitch about okay so hard it to didn't create. actually make a point and, off that. and that actually Got it. seems like maybe the trap that many on the it's you about know, you the, like it's about many, me many of the marxists and the wokesters yep. that have taken over hollywood they're like finally learning that trap Wokesters. that like they bitched about white male dominance and the you know they they created whatever uh they needed to create to go find and knock it down and now they're stuck with like well okay now you're the creator go yeah right I think they've... and and so I guess my, my question is, how do we not get it caught in that same trap? He's already doing it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's another kind of another topic. But at the same time, like, if you don't think your quote unquote greatest art of all time came from far lefty weirdos, I don't know what the fuck can tell you. Like, sorry. Like, have them pick a, pick a fucking movie out. Well, Terminator, James Cameron, that guy. Well, Saving Private Ryan, Spielberg, you mean him? Like, who, who are you going to pick out that isn't a quote-unquote lefty? Hey, come on, bro, politically speaking, and not, to, not that I'm in favor of that. I'm just saying, like, 
these guys are saying like, well, if the if the leftists took over this or took over that, this is why they, their things suck. It's like, well, in my opinion, they weren't that good in the first place. It's about individuals that are creative. Those are the fucking prime, the creme de la creme. But they get left out. They don't get noticed. Aronofsky still doesn't get noticed by these idiots. No one kinda. <laughs> the Wachowskis start away. There's there's great creators out there that get looked past. <laughs> and these guys are prime suspect number one when it comes to shit like that. Like what what, well, what do you do with that? Like, come on, man. Missed out on fucking art you might like because of one reason or another. I don't know what the fucking reason is. You miss out on it, and then you're complaining that, like, where was this stuff? We need to rebuild the independent scene to to remake these things. And it's like, what? There was things here already, dipshits. Whatever. Here we go. Crap. That, like, they bitched about white male dominance and, you know, they, they white created male whatever... Uh, they needed to create to go like, find yeah. and knock it down, and now they're stuck with. Yeah, that's Tarantino. Let's get rid of him. Or we're at it. He believes he he believes shit like that. Do we, do we get rid of Tarantino films? Would they agree to get rid of Tarantino films because he acts like that and thinks that way in, in regards to making films? The fuck do you think Death Proof was? Or it's a bunch of chicks like beating up this "quote unquote" misogynist asshole, right, or whatever toxic, toxic masculinity asshole. Did they complain about that? Anyone know? Anyone here? Is it just me? <laughs> whatever. I don't fuck. Have we seen Death Proof? Like no. No, with Kurt Russell. No. A long time ago. Tarantino Death Proof. No, never. That's a double feature. Right? Well, guess what that fucking movie's about. But these idiots would call it awesome if they saw it. They'd be like, oh fuck, that's fucking amazing. Okay, sorry to spoil the surprise, but how many other movies are like kind of like this, but you don't realize it is? The difference is they were good. They had quality to them. So, so the only thing they're actually complaining about is quality, but they're. They're ignoring quality to go to, well, uh, they made a woman like super strong or super impressive in a movie. Or they made a racial minority in America extra special in a movie. That's all they're, that's all they're seeing instead of like the quality of it, which is why they, <laughs> I'm done, man. Like, what do I do? I was just only learning that trap that like they bitched about white male dominance and the you know they they created whatever white uh, male dominance to to this man is, this, this is a very dominant and man and now they're stuck with like, like how strong and well okay now you're the creator of he is yeah right I think and and so i guess my my question is how do we not impressively strong man he's already doing it yeah well yeah i mean like on a, a very small scale but i'm starting out and so i'm throwing my hat into the ring making a short film based on my my books that i've written are you really um, it's that's not going to change anything in the wider sense but it's it's a star and it's like just an example of the independent scene i guess starting to create stuff of our own these, these are the guys talking about the independent scene now it's fucking crazy the guy who said there's no more stoic men in movies anymore <laughs> i think by independent he means like made by me <laughs> It wasn't made by Disney. It's independent. But, uh, yeah, what a strong man. Yes. And you get this with fan videos. You get other YouTubers who've done crowdfunding. Look how masculine movies. this guy is. And it's Very masculine. You know, it, like I say, it's on a small I'm scale at the moment. But there's actually. such an enormous pool of people who have creative talent and who have creative visions. And now they have the opportunity to do it because if they get to... A decent it's crazy. Level, They're talking they like crowdfund. those guys like from the democratization 1998 of or 1999 yeah. or yeah. 2000. Yeah. Yes. 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 Like, yes. Yo, they don't. They won't let our movies out. Air, Air July, Eric July, 
kind of a that's, renaissance. That's what they man. sound like does, right now. Know, music, he does metal. Uh, does has been to YouTubing for since he was a teenager. Eric July, uh, and he's a first time writer. He's never written a <laughs> the book. The guy before, Jody so You want to be very encouraging of these uh, independent projects out there, and of the thousands that are going to be spawned. You know, we'll get five or six that'll that'll rise above, and whatever they are, that becomes the new industry, and that's. That's yeah, how, that's sure. Got to replace the industry. Movie, they want to replace them. Got it. Throughout entertainment, and will continue to do so. It just took a hey, while. Hey, Nerd Drive, so do you have a book here. coming Maybe out? It saves comics. American comics are pretty dead right now, so it's a great opportunity for anybody out there. If hey, you man, think do you have you a book coming out? It, try it. Um, but as far as film, yeah, he's doing a short film. He's also he also writes a book series. This guy right here, uh, <laughs> Ryan Drake, um, and uh, Ryan Drake. You know, I got a book coming out later this year really so, yeah i yeah. didn't know this yeah now you know a comic so, book <laughs> no 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 it's, oh, it's, have a it's, book it's, coming uh, out. it's a memoir so it's kind of like a it's not focused on youtube it's focused on my sobriety is it called so, the full some yeah. prison brew uh i i actually appreciate that i do i actually appreciate that thing with that but uh as far as uh what's he called him ryan ryan drake is that the same guy as ethan hawk or Jack Reacher, or it's like, come on, man, you're borrowing from people. Like, come on, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna come out as as borrowed. I don't know if this guy's like what, where he's at in regards to the film or his writing about it. I could be absolutely wrong, but if I had to guess, it's gonna come out like one of these like Jack Reacher, Ethan Hawke fucking things. And I'm gonna be like, wow, this is boring and not enjoyable for me. And I'm gonna be called leftist for it, or a, uh, or a, I'll be called triggered for not enjoying it, or I'm I'm just a hater of critical drinker. <laughs> leave Chris alone, like Chris Stuckman vans. Leave me, like, leave him alone. Type shit. This is brilliant, man. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a memoir. So it's kind of like a, it's not focused on YouTube. It's focused on my sobriety. Is it called so, the Folsom Prison Brew? Uh, I couldn't use that one. God, so, no, yeah, really. It's called Waiting for Nerdrotic. So, and it's got some. At least he's clever. Videos. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's so great. So I'll come out later this year. But I look like, forward to hyping yeah. the out of it. And also, the books are published. Yes, the the Ryan yeah. Drake books they're all yeah. published, and yeah, now we're starting to make movies about them uplifting messages starting to make about movies about them. culture like this was kind of if you go back saving culture years, how it all started right like guys that walt disney we're sitting here inside of like the shadow of this empire obviously that disney built ironically and um, but started out as uh, you know drawing comics getting totally over by his business partners time and time again losing his ip um the you know like scrappy then he ended up hiring a bunch of like quasi slaves to animate his fucking movies <laughs> which is a lot of work apparently allegedly it's all alleged i don't know that I'm just, i just heard things before saying we go and that was 100 that was not long ago and he was able to build this empire and it was a uh, you know 100 years ago actually steamboat willie right like yeah. comes out and and that's this is what can happen in just a generation mm -hmm. of creators like hitting like nose to the grindstone right like fist to the grindstone like putting their shoulder to the wheel and being creative i think ultimately yeah when yeah. one door closes another opens and i would love really creativity hollywood do i want to see reacher again not so much machines starting to break down their losses are a gain it gives opportunities for independent creators to start making their own stuff and maybe eventually they'll get to that point yeah but if you're if your new artwork is all based on the conditioning of yesteryear, even though the names are different, right? It's not Ethan Hawke. It's not Jack Reacher. It's Ryan Drake. It's brand, it's brand new. It's Ryan Drake. It's totally not Ethan Hawke. It's, like, it's brand new. If you go in that direction, as far as quality of content, you're going to be subjected to the same thing that you're complaining about right now. About like, oh, this is another reboot. Look, uh, fucking uh, Mad Max Eight. I'm mad about that. I don't want to. See, I don't want to see Mad Max Eight. I want to see something different. If you if you use the same style of character, the same archetype, but change the name of them, are we getting something different? 
But I'm not I'm not gonna judge your work on that. I'm just saying, like, if that happens, we end up in the same shit shit scenario, right? That's not acceptable either, right? Or is it for these guys? I, I wonder. I think that's a worthy question. It's okay. Just don't make them black. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm saying, like, what if it's the same character, but just, like, a different name? What if it's Jack Reacher or Jack Ryan or one of these characters like that, right? Anthony, stop it. If he's one of these characters, but they change they, they change his name to Ryan Drake. Does it, does it make it original? Anthony, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> Anthony, I'm going to do this to you. Forgive me. I have to. Okay. It's because I'm recording, man. It is what it is. Anyways, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Uh, yeah, they're, they're screaming for originality and something new. What if they just copy the artist from yesteryear or the same quote-unquote woke people that they're complaining about right now would be ironic as shit, wouldn't it? It'd be super ironic. But that, that's what you get when you're in the world of politics, right? It just goes back and forth. Well, blessings be at that point. Because I thought it was about movies, but apparently it's not. Whatever, we're triggered. And the creators to start making their own stuff, and maybe eventually they'll yeah, make something point. different. Yeah, Qu quickly, like they're the You see, we made Terminator 2, down, but we changed the outfit around. Need to make a billions, it's not different, it's the same like thing. Walt Disney different did. names. Now you can have a creator of economy of your own with 10,000 people, 5,000 people, 1,000 people make a living do it or at least it's a great hobby i would love for so, uh that that hollywood i would love for the critical drinker guy to make reacher again just in a different name and this guy review it and be like um yet yeah, wow it's the it's so unique and different and genius meanwhile it's like bro are you playing politics bro are you playing team sides and shit like that you're supposed to be against that you're supposed to be like going with uh Whatever's original, shit like that. But whatever. Yeah, I'm. I so far, I'm. I'm wondering what is an example of something good, right? So so far, I've heard know. the action, action films. Okay, but it's like, is that the only category that really? Uh, as far like, as what I call, what I've heard them call good. Uh, yeah. it's usually political, or. Action, yeah. Like they said, one life. Like the Cradle Drinker said, one life is good. We watched that, but it's political as to why he's probably saying that, right? Okay. Or, uh, the Triple R movie is good. Why? Because of action and over the top, over the top action, goofiness type shit. Right, so it's like, where's the quality? Even so, even something like everything, everywhere, all at once, right? I think he's, I think he said that was good too. And it's like, was it because of the core story, or was it because there's crazy over the top action where guys jump and sit on dildos, like in the movie? I'd have to like re-review his his review of that to to find out the answer to that question. Right, so I, I don't know. I don't know their fucking rubrics, man. They said they said Reacher was good, but shit on Echo at the same time. It's like, well, what's the difference again? What's the actual difference? Other than like cohesive ending for a show, which is where Echo failed. Reacher failed as well, but less egreg egregiously, I guess. Whatever. Let's let's end this. You guys are terrible. People make at this. a living, do it, or at least it's a great hobby. So yes. uh, that that 
Hollywood cannot compete against that because they can't pivot fast enough. Oh, okay. Also, Trump is uh, Trump won South Carolina, according to this guy, and uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he Trump won South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, all right. There's the end of the video. Uh, this is a very long reaction. I'm okay with that. I think. I think it works and fits. Uh, I mean, like, no one's going to listen to this part of the video, but it is what it is. Uh, if you're a fan of these guys, <laughs> God help you, man. <laughs> Don't be a fan. Like, as soon as it enters a, a uh, territory to where it's about morality... Please don't don't be a fan anymore, man. Stop being a fan and think for yourself on any of this shit. Right? They're making this a moral imperative type of situation when it comes to film. Which I, I, I don't mind that at all. I love that. But at the same time, there is no teams in morality, man. Fuck teams. Think for yourself. What do you think is right? What do you think is wrong? And run with it. Like, look into it. Examine it. Experience it in real time. Otherwise, you're just another fuckboy that's going to live and die at some point. Congratulations. You were here on Earth. You won. That's it. That's all you get out of it, man. Nothing, no kudos, no, nothing special. Just be another fuckboy on the internet. So. Jesse, anything? Please go ahead if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I said what I said. Hey. Now, um, yeah, just uh, well, what I took away from this whole thing, which I mentioned a little bit earlier, is is that you know I see like it's the the show's not really about film, so no. if that's if you're watching for that you're probably not going to learn a lot. <laughs> so but if you're watching for the, the you know, uh, I guess, what is it? Shitting on the woke or whatever, then, then sure. That's, that's your, your thing. But, you know, just not to get it mixed up, you know, like it could, you know, on the surface, it could be deceiving. Yeah. I mean, I think you're losing if you're doing that, but you know, that's for their own, their own journey, man. Joy. Like, sometimes I reflect and have a nostalgic feeling for when I was an idiot and feeling good about it. Maybe you'll have that one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry to be an asshole, but like, that's how I feel about it. Um, like, oh, you're an idiot, but don't know you're an idiot yet. So, enjoy these times where you don't feel so stupid. And then you're going to, you're going to, it's gonna feel like shit if you get out of that and you're like fuck I need to re re look over everything I'm into that that will suck it is what it is and then maybe one day you'll come back and be like okay what's the who song I won't be fooled again da, 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 da. whatever all right Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. I'm sure most won't because God, they're f fucking idiots, man. <laughs> These are you're dealing with dumb people. But you know, enjoy it. There you go. There's our review of reviewing the reviewers of Benny something, Nerdrotic, and Critical Drinker. There you go.